Hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you can find lots of free maths videos. This one's about hard equations with fractions. So you better be pretty good with your equations and fractions to be able to do this stuff. Uh, and I do miss quite a few lot of quite a few steps. So here we go. We've got one over two x plus two over x. Okay. Now to add them together you need a common denominator, so I'm gonna make it four over two x. So you get 1 over 2x plus 4 over 2x, which is 5 over 2x. Okay, so that means this is this, which is still equal to 7. Now, if 5 over 2x equals 7, rearranging means you bring the 2 up, that's the divide by 2x becomes a time by 2x, and so 7 times 2x, uh, the 7 times goes to the other side and becomes a divide by 7. So you basically swap these two round, so you got 5 over 7 equals 2x, so that 7 went down there, that 2x went up there, you got 5 over 7 equals 2x, and then I further swapped it around, so I got 2x on this side and the 5 over 7 on this side. Then, of course, uh, if you want to make this fraction smaller, you double... So if I want to, so I'm going to half both sides basically, so to half this fraction, you can't half the top, can you? So you just double the bottom, which is has the same effect of making the fraction half the size. So x equals 5 over 14. The next thing to explain is this one. These are just providing different uh, examples of slightly differing techniques of how to solve these harder equations. Okay, so here's a different example where you've got another fraction again, or set of fractions, and a little trick this time is make the common denominator, once you've got the common denominator, instead of adding it all together and stuff like that, uh, you just say, okay, times everything by 4, so you've got 4m plus 4 over 12, and this one times this by top and bottom by 3, so it becomes minus 3 over 12, times top and bottom by 2, you get 2m over 12. Okay, so I've got this stuff, right? Now, if they, if I divide it all, sorry, if I times everything by 12, that means times each bit by 12, it should stay equal, yeah? Both sides should stay equal. So, that's, or another way of saying that is just cancelling out the 12s, because it's common everywhere. So now you've got 4m pl plus 4 minus 3 equals 2m, so, 4 minus 3 is 1, so you've got 4m plus 1 equals 2m. Rearranging it even more, that 4m is there, the 2m is there, bring the 2m over, you've got 4m minus 2m is 2m, and that plus 1 from the 4 minus 3, which is plus 1 there, that goes to the other side and you get minus 1. I did say we're doing a lot of working out in our heads here, yeah? Okay, this is for people who are pretty confident with their equations. Okay, so you've got 2m equals minus 1, take the 2 to the other side, you've got minus 1 over 2, which is just basically minus half. The final example, you've got n over 5 plus 6 equals 2n. I would say times everything by 5, because I don't like that fraction. You should never like fractions, yeah? In, in the working out, you should get in the answer maybe, but not during the working out. So times everything by 5, that means times each bit by 5. Times that by 5 just cancels out the 5, so you've got n. Times that by 5 gives you 30. Times that by 5 gives you 10n. Okay, simple rearranging. Bring the n over, you get 10n minus n, which is 9n. And a 30 is left over there. Bring the 9 to this side, you got 30 over 9 equals n, then swap it around, you got n equals 30 over 9, and we are done.